everybody, it's Jasmine and today I'm going to share with you guys all of my sponges that are in my collection. I put these all to the test for you guys and it took me almost two weeks to do, which is so crazy. I've never spent this long on a video, but I really wanted to give you guys a very helpful and in-depth video. So hopefully if you're looking for a great sponge under $20, this is a great video to look into. Now to test all these sponges, I decided to use the same products for each one. So I decided to use my NYX Total Control Foundation alongside the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation with the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. I also used my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium, my ColourPop no filter concealer in the shade light 20. I mixed a lot of colors because right now I'm just trying to get rid of some products. So that's why I'm just mixing everything. Um, I also used some powder on my face which was the Shop Misse Soft Light Powder. It's a loose powder. So what I did was I just popped my sponge in that powder and I just tapped it all over my face just so you guys can see if the powder was sitting on top of my skin or not. And then I just use the same bronzers, blush and highlight. Um, I will link that down below. Other than that, that's what I used with the sponge. And so I wanted to talk about the first sponge, which is the Japanese Kumadori sponge. On Ulta's website, this one retails for $9.99, which is not too bad, but it is pretty pricey considering a drugstore price. And none of these brands that I'm gonna be mentioning are all drugstore, they are just something that you can easily get. So this one says that it's designed to help create an airbrush finish for a flawless sculpted appearance. The wide end perfectly smooths creams and powders while the pointed end easily fits smaller areas of the face. So basically that's what I did. I followed the instructions and mind you I only used one pump of foundation as like the baseline for all of the sponges and this made my foundation last so much longer and it just covered my entire face with one pump. It just did not soak up any additional product. It made my skin look smooth, more full coverage, and it just did everything that I want in a sponge. And now the great thing is, is that it has a very soft texture, but it's surprisingly dense, but in a very good way. Now I know a lot of people hate dense, hard sponges, but this one, the more you use it and the more you wash it and clean it, the softer it gets, but it's still dense to the point where it's not gonna soak up any additional product so your skin just looks very soft. The next sponge that I'm going to be talking about is my Equal Tools Total Perfecting Blender. This one retails for $4.99 and I was actually really upset because this sponge ripped on me after two uses and that to me is the biggest downer of all of all sponges like if it rips on me it's definitely like a no-go and that's the reason why I didn't review the Real Technique sponge because it does the same thing to me it rips on the second use and I just can't get by it and for five dollars it I know it's cheap but at the same time it's a waste of money if it keeps on ripping on me um, but the good thing is and if you do enjoy this sponge is that it's literally located everywhere. You can find this at Target, Ulta, Walmart, Sprouts, literally anywhere. It's great because a lot of people like it because it's 70% plant-based and it's also cruelty-free. So that's really good. It's also latex-free as well. So not only was it soaking up a lot of product, but it just made my concealer blend really patchy under my eyes. And I just don't think that this is something I'm technically looking for. I know a lot of people really like this sponge and a lot of people have been raving about it, but to me, I could have gotten a bad batch potentially, but you know, after this whole experience, after using it, you know, after I film this video, I just think that it's not the one for me. A lot of you guys are familiar with the brand Sigma Beauty, but a lot of you guys don't know that they have a sister brand called Practic. They released their Power Blender not too long ago and it retails for $9. The cool thing about this sponge is that it is latex free, but I don't know if you guys watched my last month's hits and misses, but this was in my miss. And the reason why I don't like it is because not only does the product sit on top of your skin, but it makes your skin just look so greasy. I don't know what it is, but when I use this, my face just looks so greasy. And the application wasn't all that great either. I had to use two and a half times more product. This was the most product I had to use with a sponge in this video. It was so dense. I don't know if you guys remember, but I threw this at the wall and it made a really loud bang. And so it just doesn't 
work with me. When I apply the foundation, it takes it off of my face, so then I have to apply more foundation to compensate for the loss of that foundation. So that just didn't work out. And then as for the under eyes, you know, it just really punched it in. <laughs> it didn't feel soft at all. And it made my under eyes look very dry, my lows look patchy, uh, the area around my hairline was patchy and while I was filming the review for this one it gave me a bloody nose it was so hard it just it happened there it is it was so hard it injured me I'm injured on the job workman's comp hello so Sigma actually has their own sponge it's called their 3d HD blender and this one has three flat surfaces to help you blend conceal bake contour highlight and perfect and the precise application of blending of liquids creams and powders um, helps make your makeup look flawless and it's also latex free as the last sponge now this one retails for $15 and I can tell you it gives you even application, but it does soak up a lot of product so it gives you more of a lighter coverage. The application is amazing though. It's easier to use when you have to do your foundation before your eyebrows because I just felt like it was so hard to maneuver this sponge around my face, like around my eye makeup. It, it just, it was just hard, man. It was, it was a difficult journey. But once you kind of get it all down and completed and kind of once you practice more with this sponge, it kind of gets a little bit easier. This sponge is very soft and it leaves your skin looking very smooth and no texture is emphasized. So this is a complete opposite from the last Sigma sponge. You can also use uh, my discount code that's also in the description box if you want to save some money um, just to get a little bit you know, a little bit of a discount. The next sponge that I have is something that I've seen on YouTube get a lot of mixed reviews on. This one is the Fenty Precision Makeup Sponge. This one retails for $16. And I personally really enjoy this sponge. It's precise, versatile, expert blending for all formulas. So this one is a three-sided sponge. It's latex-free and it's great for applying all formulas of makeup. I actually really like this because this is actually the small sponge that I own and it has no point which I feel like a lot of people didn't like I know a lot of people really love that point for under the eyes and between the eyebrows and the small areas of the face um, but I think that this flat point on the top is really really nice I think that it gets the job done and it does it well it soaks up a sufficient amount of product I'm not gonna say it soaks up a huge amount but it does soak up a little bit and I have to say that even though it does that the application is fast it's super fast it's flawless it's smooth it helps blend everything into the skin the powders do not look cakey at all it will literally go with any face shape if you have a small face this is perfect if you have a larger face and you like to work in small sections this is also very good if you just love Rihanna and you're just curious about this sponge I highly recommend it I use it from time and time again it's just something that I just personally enjoy using because it's very soft and it works well. The next one that I have is my Shop Masse Papa Charity Sponge and as most of you guys know, this is my number one favorite and I've been using it the longest out of all of these sponges here. This one retails for $1.55. The extra $0.55 cents gets donated to charity which is amazing and I have a full review on my channel already so if you want to go check that out I highly recommend it. I'm going to list it in the iCard above. Now the reason why I swear by this sponge so much and the reason why I bought 20 of them <laughs> is because you don't need extra product. Just like the Japanese sponge you can literally just use one pump of foundation and it's good to go. I really really like it. It does not soak up a lot of product and when you push the foundation and powders into the skin it just looks flawless. It looks skin like and it does not cake up which is really nice. I have tried the regular Shop Misse sponges and I definitely prefer this one because this one is twice the softness and you get to donate to charity which is a win-win in my opinion. So definitely if you're really curious about this, then I recommend that you check it out. It's really, really good. And like I said, I bought 20. So if that doesn't say anything, I don't know what does. 
Last but not least, we have the Morphe Highlight Contour Beauty Sponge. Now, this one I wasn't a huge fan of. This one retails for $7, by the way. Not too bad of a price, but this sponge I was just not jumping off the walls over. So this one is latex-free, is perfect for liquid makeup application, and provides tons of control for contouring, highlighting, and baking. So with that being said, I feel like it's better if you're using this on smaller portions of the face. You know, like when you're cream contouring, but who really creams contours anymore? And then the tip of the sponge, since it was flat, kind of like the Eco Tools one, it was kind of hard to maneuver a little bit. And I don't know, it was just a lot of switching places of the sponge and it picked up too much powder. So like the intended use, it was great for baking. But if you're not into the whole baking thing, then I don't really recommend this for you. But overall, it was a great sponge. It made my face look great. I didn't have to use that much product. I used like a pump and a half, you know? It was just a little over one pump, but it got the job done. It's $7. It's a great affordable price. If you're at a Morphe store, if you're at Ulta, you can definitely pick this up and still be satisfied. It's just that I've tried better sponges, you know? So this one is definitely a recommendation. So that wraps up this video, you guys. I'm so glad that I'm finally done with this video. This took me so long to film, and so I hope you guys all really enjoyed. This was really, really tough, so thank you guys so much for watching. If I have anything else left to say about all the sponges, then I'll definitely leave them in the description box below. And so thank you guys again, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Peace out, Girl Scouts. Oh my god, I have a bloody nose. Stop! <sighs> you bleeding bitch. I am! Oh <laughs> my god! Let's put a nap, get up, get up. I gotta put a tampon in there! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, please, Jesus, help me.